Hey everyone, Chris Dernett here for Car Player TV. We are at the end of the 2010 Pokestars.net Caribbean Adventure. I'm here with the winner, Harrison Gimble. Harrison, you're 19 years old. You came in here to one of the only tournaments you can play legally, and you decimated a field of 1,500 players. Now, before the final table, you said you were confident, but were you confident when you first came in and saw this massive field? Um, day one, I had a really good day. I came in, I was kind of tight at first just to scout out everyone because, I mean, it's my first 10K buy-in, so I figured the players would be better. But luckily, in the beginning, they weren't that great. Um, so you got a good table draw. Yeah, and at the end of day one, I had over 100 big blinds. And I actually said to someone, look, I have over 100 big blinds, I'm going to win this tournament. So, <laughs> I did. <laughs> Who did you tell? Did you tell your friends? Um, I told Andy Seth, BK Ice. <laughs> Now, when you came into the final table, you were right in the middle of the pack. What was your kind of strategy as the middle, in the middle of the, of the chip counts? Um, it was really just play a lot of pots in position. I mean, I really think playing position is a key to winning tournaments. Um, I played my good hands. I tried to get max value out of them. Um, and, yeah, and I, the bluffs that I did do, luckily they were successful. I mean, I had a couple failed ones, but it was a good day. So tell me a little bit about Ty Ryman. He came in as chip leader. He had the chip lead for a long time. He had the chip lead heads up when you started. So tell me about him as a heads up opponent. Um, coming into the match, I knew Ty was one of the toughest people at the final table, regardless of anyone who was there. Um, I, I know him through some people. We have mutual friends. So um, he's a very good player. And going into heads up play, I figured it would be us just because he had a lot of chips and he was playing really well. Um, when we got heads up, though, he had a 9 million chip advantage. Then we took like an hour break. Um, and I came back, I was really refreshed, um, really energized, and really eager to win. Well, you're 19, like we keep mentioning, and a lot of the other players are also online players. Did the age difference and your lack of live play affect you at all, or were you just pretty confident the whole way through? It was actually pretty funny. Um, coming in, I really, like, I'm a live fish. I don't have any, like, reads on people but coming in um one of the hands i one of the hands on day two i think um i called down with sevens with her four over cards on the board i called down the flop turn and river to a shove from the guy and i was good because he had queen high and um i just picked up live reads and coming from someone online that's a lot different so yeah all right, now everybody keeps asking you what you're going to do with the $2.2 .2 million top prize. You mentioned maybe a house, maybe a car. Those are all practical things. I want to know what just crazy thing that you want to buy. Like, nothing practical. Like, what, what do you want to spend some of that hard-earned money on? Oh, I'm going to get a good bed. A uh, nice bed? Oh, a nice, soft, like, Tempur-Pedic bed. Come on, that's, that's, that's pretty <laughs> Those practical. Those are expensive. Those yeah. are expensive. <laughs> They're really comfortable, though. I recommend it. All right, well, are you going to party here in the Bahamas tonight? Um, well, first I'm going to Nobu, and then we have tickets for Aurora, or whatever that club is called. Popping bottles tonight? Maybe. All right. <laughs> Sounds good. Thank you so much, and congratulations. Thank you. I appreciate it. Chris Arnett with your 2010 Pokestars.net Caribbean Adventure winner, Harrison Gumbel for CarPlayer TV.